Hey folks, welcome back to Tech Tech and More Tech. I'm Carlo, and in this video, I'll go over why Thread is the next big thing in smart homes. As always, if you prefer a more detailed written version, head on over to techtechmoretech.com or check the link in the description just below that like button. Thread is a relatively new technology in the smart home world that is poised to be the best way for your smart home devices to connect and communicate with each other. It takes all the best aspects of Zigbee, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth and mashes them together, resulting in Thread. The Thread group was founded back in 2014 by a consortium of consumer technology companies including Nest, Samsung, Silicon Labs, Qualcomm, Yale, and others, with Apple joining in 2018. They set out to make Thread become the industry standard protocol for smart homes. Last year, as part of my ultimate smart home guide, I did a video about the different smart home protocols and the pros and cons. I covered Zigbee, Z-Wave, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, because at the time, Thread was basically still in prototype phase and there were no smart home devices utilizing it. It was only a couple months ago when the HomePod Mini announced Thread support, as well as Nanoleaf and Eve, that I took a closer look at this new technology. Now, I know you're thinking of the XKCD comic that this will just end up being another protocol and nothing will really change. So I'm gonna do my best to break down how Thread works, what the benefits are, and why I think it's here to stay as the big dog in smart homes. Thread at its core is an IPv6 based peer-to-peer -peer mesh network, meaning devices do not need to communicate with a central hub in order to communicate with each other. For the purposes of a smart home, that doesn't really mean much because you still need a way to communicate with them. However, the benefits of the IPv6 design is they actually have very good performance and reliability. There is a pretty simple nomenclature when it comes to thread, and while it won't matter to end users per se, it's always good to have an understanding of how things are working. A thread network will be comprised of two different devices. They can either be routers or endpoints. Routers, as the name suggests, can route information throughout the network. These will be your mains powered devices like smart plugs, light bulbs, smart switches, etc. Endpoints are typically going to be battery-powered devices, and they cannot transmit any data past themselves, only back and forth to the router they are connected to. This will be things like contact sensors, motion sensors, etc. The big benefit of Thread is that it is designed to be a self-healing and self-maintaining network. So as you add or remove devices, or even move them around physically, the network will automatically adjust. Let's say you have a contact sensor on a window and it is connected to a light strip you have nearby. In a regular mesh network, if that light strip loses power, the contact sensor is also disconnected from the network. But with Thread, the contact sensor will then automatically connect to the next nearest router device, let's say a smart plug, and the network will continue running. The last device that is essential to a Thread is a type of router called a border router. This is a device that connects your Thread network to the rest of your home network. This is kind of like a hub in other smart home protocols. All Thread-based devices have a Bluetooth chipset as a backup, so if the border router were to disconnect, it will then revert to Bluetooth connection. It is a little unclear though which Bluetooth device it would connect to if you were to initially set it up as a Thread device. Thread was of course designed specifically for smart home applications, so battery life and power consumption were top priorities for all of the various battery-operated smart home devices, of which there are many. Endpoint devices have the option to utilize a function called sleep interval, which helps tremendously with battery life. This means that it will manually ask its parent if there's any new information, rather than having to have that data come to it automatically. This doesn't mean that there will be any lag when the device detects anything though. If a contact sensor opens, it will then immediately notify the parent device of this new information. Imagine a security watchtower. The sentry at the furthest point doesn't have his radio on all the time connected to the control tower. Instead, they will do a radio check to the control tower every so often to get a quick status update. But if they see anything, they will then immediately radio in the news from their end. Thread also allows the ability of a partition network. Essentially, if you have a large home, you can have independent thread networks, each with their own border router that work independently of one another. If you're able to improve the network connection and reconnect them, then they will merge into one big thread network and one of the border routers will just be demoted to router. I don't think this would happen often, but imagine you have a three level house and you have thread devices and a HomePod mini in the basement and you have a similar setup in your bedroom on the second floor, but nothing in the main floor of the house. The thread network isn't strong enough to connect between the two levels, 
so they work independently. But then if you were to introduce a router device like a light bulb on the main floor, it would then allow the thread network to continuously flow through all of the devices. Okay, so that's a deep dive into thread itself, but why does it matter in a smart homes? Why can't we just keep using Zigbee or Z-Wave? Zigbee and Z-Wave for all intents and purposes are fine and do a decent job. They were also mesh-based networks, but unlike Thread, they are not self-healing, nor are they IP-based. Zigbee has been a bit of a mess since it's a completely open standard and manufacturers will ship their own versions of it with their own hubs that aren't interoperable, which is generally just a terrible experience. Z-Wave has the benefit of being a closed system in that all Z-Wave devices are compatible with one another. However, the company that owns them basically has a monopoly on the hardware and software, keeping prices high, which is something that even their executives have admitted is a common complaint. So with all the other protocols out there that are already pretty good, why is Thread going to be the one that everyone chooses to implement? I'll tell you. The reason why Thread is going to be important in the smart home world is basically because the big boys want to use it. Smart homes have become increasingly mainstream, but are still quite limited and are fairly niche on a grand scale. Between each company having their own Zigbee hub and Z-Wave not quite getting along with others, the landscape is basically a bunch of small to medium sized companies trying to determine what the best path forward is, and realistically for an average consumer it's not a great experience. When Apple and Google both decide on a path forward, the rest of the industry follows. They are simply too large to ignore. And they've basically chosen Thread to be that path forward. Between Thread and Choip, which will work in unison, you would be silly as a smart home manufacturer not to follow that same path. Obviously, this will be a multi-year effort on all sides. At the moment, there are only a handful of Thread-supported devices. HomePod Mini, Nanoleaf Essential Bulb and Light Strip, Eve Contact Sensor, and EU Smart Plug. I suspect that with the next couple of years, Thread will be the main wireless protocol for smart homes. And I would even expect Wi-Fi routers to include Thread as well. Does this mean that your current stuff is obsolete? Not necessarily. As long as it works, I don't see any reason why it will stop working, and it will most likely work in conjunction with Thread devices at an ecosystem level, basically the same way it is working right now. So there you have it, a deeper dive into Thread and why I think it's the future of the smart home. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe button for plenty more videos to come. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will get to them as best I can. And until next time, see ya.